Welcome to my backyard garden. Today I'm going to prune all these uh, pumpkins, cucumbers, and squash and get it all cleaned up to uh, help prevent disease. That's the most important thing. So ultimately when you're pruning your pumpkin and cucumber and squash, these viney plants like this, you're doing it to prevent disease and keep a healthier plant. So what happens is these lower lying leaves are close to the ground or coming in contact with the ground and then they pick up uh, diseases and then they spread throughout the rest of the plant. You want to keep that from happening. That's why we take off the lower leaves. Part The other part of this is we want to have good air circulation, especially low down on the ground to help keep the ground dry, the surface soil dry, so help also to help prevent that uh, transmission of disease. Okay, here we go. So these are close to the ground. I'm going to go ahead and just take these out. The other thing about this is it also it makes it easier for you to work inside the plant. Now you want to be careful you don't cut the stem of the plant off. Just the leaves. That's on the other plant. That's the vine. So I'm just going to take this off. Now you can see where this is going. I'm going to leave that flower there because I might use that to pollinate one of the uh, female plants. This is a male flower right here. Do that. Now these are going off into the rocks, so that's not going to be an issue. I just wanted to get these low ones out of here, like that. And that'll open up everything and get rid of these two, these dead ones. That'll open up everything. Get some air in here, get a little breeze. and have a lot healthier plant there. These are all flowers. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Even though they are growing down to the rocks, I'm going to still cut off some of these lower leaves so that the air can flow from one end, one side of the bed to the other and get all this lower stuff out of here. And I'm going to leave the flowers because I want the flowers to pollinate. But I can get rid of all this, these low-hanging leaves. Yeah, get that one out of the way too. So now what I have is some really good airflow through there that will help keep that soil dry, help keep the diseases from splashing up onto the plants, and have some really healthy plants throughout the rest of the season. Wow, what a difference that makes. So a couple things, again, for plant health, to keep the surface soil dry as possible, let the breeze come through. Also in the past, on my squash plants, those thick stems at the bottom, where I've got those big leaves blocking out the breeze, they just stay damp and they decay and then the plant dies. So that's another part of that healthy plant thing, the reason why you prune. Also it's going to let me see inside the plant better and uh, see what's going on with the with the buds and the squash and the pumpkin, uh, hand pollinate them if I need to do that. So I hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you would, leave your comments and questions below, and uh, hit that bell to get notified of my future videos. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.